start that. Responding anti-Islamist. Was the A or Ta of Muhammad cut off by the God, or did he die by poison? Have you ever found yourself in a situation where the bigot anti-Islamist questions you about Islam or Muhammad, the messenger of God, and puts you in an awkward state? Questions such as, Do you know that your prophet died of poison? Do you know that Allah killed your prophet? According to Quran, if Muhammad were to invent a false revelation, or make up verses of the Quran, Allah will kill him by severing his aorta. In chapter 69, verse 44 to 46 of the Quran, states that, And if Muhammad had made up about us some false sayings, we would have seized him by the right hand, then we would have cut from him the aorta, and your authentic tradition of the Prophet, that is Sahih al-Bukhari confirms that he died as his aorta is being cut from the poison. Do you deny the verse of the Quran? Do you reject the traditions of your prophet? There are thousands of way to die. Do you really think that it's a coincidence that Muhammad died, exactly the way, Quran says he will die in the false prophet? Surely, God has disgraced and humiliated him, and is an example of divine judgment. The facts are enough to conclude that your prophet was an imposter and a false prophet. In order to respond to question of such nature, we must examine the evidence in question. In this case, we have to analyze the word used for aorta in Qur'an, and in Hadith. In Qur'an, the Arabic word used for aorta is, al wachina Let's take the Arabic root word, watanun. Arabic word mostly consists of trilateral root, which is made up of three Arabic letter, in this situation, wa, ta, noon. The meaning of al wachina is a or ta. Next, hadith. Four years before the death of the messenger of God, he was treacherously poisoned by the enemies at Kaibar. Yet, some major events with difficult journeys in a diverse condition took place in his last four years. This includes the expedition of Kaibar in 628, which was a distance of 171 kilometers and takes around three days. Next year, he went to Mecca for pilgrimage, which requires 440 kilometers traveling in eight days. Following that year, conquest of Mecca took place, at a distance of 440 kilometers, in 10 to 12 days, where he was the commander-in-chief. In the same year, there was also the Battle of Hunayun, which was 72.5 kilometers and about one day journey. In the year 631, expedition to Tanabuk took place, which was 629 kilometers and requires around 11 days journey. And the last journey that Messenger of God took, to Mecca, his last pilgrimage which was 440 kilometers in 8 days, in the year 632. These figures does not include the return journey, only the time and distance to reach the destinations are mentioned, not the events. Furthermore, these journeys were taken in the intense heat of the desert, and was on the back of a camel or on foot, which is extremely difficult. Therefore, it would be impossible for a man, who be on the verse of death, as claimed by the anti islamist Let's examine the word, that has been used for a or ta in the hadith. The word used is abhari, let's take the Arabic root word, bahara, that is the three Arabic letter, ba, ha, and ra. Now, Let's examine this word. Abhari means shortness of breath, breathlessness, suffocation. If we compare the two words, al wachina means a or ta, whereas abhari means shortness of breath, breathlessness, suffocation. Therefore, those two words are not the same. If we take the meaning of abhari and try to understand the hadith in context, we will find that the Prophet meant he was facing difficulty to breathe, because of that poison. In the Hadith, the word Abhari translated as, A or Ta, is nothing more than a simple error of interpretation. Therefore, there is no connection between that verse of the Quran, and that Hadith. Questions of such nature, is created to make confusion, misunderstanding of Islam. However, a simple analysis of such nature, is enough, 
to knock out the brain of the anti-Islamist. Verily, Allah said in the Quran, in chapter 21, verse 18, Nay, we hurl the truth against falsehood, and it knocks out its brain. And behold, falsehood doth perish. Ah! Will be to you, for the false things, ye ascribe to us. Please, convey this message with your family, friends, neighbors, etc., otherwise, misconception of such nature will just grow without any solution. And follow us on YouTube, at youtube.com, slash, user, slash, MCAPCS. All right, so there's the question. Uh, there's there's your answer. You know, um, so right here I help them with uh, creating, you know, little little marketing tools and stuff like that. So, you know, clear your search bar. This is what you gotta do. We all know computers. You better know computers. Because that's that's what today is. How much hatred is towards Islam? A lot. Like the 9-11 trick. It was blamed on Muslims. But why did the tower go boom, 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 boom? Come on, it doesn't take a genius. To even, if you need the video with that, I got the video too. Uh, we have a bomb specialist. You know, you got to back up from a lot of things that you know. I mean, you got to back up from your family. I'm talking about your friends. Everything you know. I mean, your sister. Only thing you could trust is your dog. Right, Maxie? Yep, that's the only person you could probably trust. And I got bit by my dog before. Sometimes you can't even trust them. But still love them. You know what I mean? So, so back up from everything you know. Clear your freaking browsers. Stop going for the first pick. Because the, 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 the first pick is going to be... Uh, you, the answer you're going to want to find. Something bad about Islam. Islam is a perfect religion. Don't, don't, uh, don't take uh, these people that are chopping heads. <laughs> uh, call them Muslim. Just because, just because you you wear a Lakers jersey does not make you uh, a, a player for the Lakers. No, it doesn't. That's just a jersey. It doesn't, the costume doesn't mean anything. It's your behavior. You're going to have to read the Quran. Now, is if there's things that you need translated, tell me and I'll make a video on it. You know what I mean? Subscribe to my video. And if you want answers, I will do little cartoons. <laughs> you know what I mean? And, you know, um, and I will explain it to you, you know what I mean? I use a translator, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, sometimes I do presentation my damn self, you know what I mean? Um, am I perfect? No, I'm not. You're not perfect either. Uh, you know, I, I, I see so many things about uh, people. Oh, my God, uh, Islam killed the dog. What? idiot like that was the first per like Islam killed a dog how are you gonna call how are you gonna say Islam just killed a dog that's the most stupidest thing ever mentioned in mankind I seen this in a group and I was like what kind of idiot is this this guy needs to be kicked you know these groups there's no knowledge in it. These are people that collect SSI that has a very low level of reading. So 
Why are you in these group battling on Facebook? There's no education. I read, to tell you the truth, the a really good educational places to go to is Google Plus. And I hope that, you know, they don't get closed down. From what I'm hearing is they're closing down Google Plus. I don't know why. It, it's a great place. You know what I mean? Um, um, it's where could creators could promote and stuff like that. But if worse comes to worse, um, I'm making my own uh, platform on Mighty Networks. You know what I mean? And if you want to learn Islam, tell me. I, I, I'm a Muslim from America. You know what I mean? And I'm going to the news and destroying Christianity. I'm sorry, I don't mean to be... Uh, but this needs to be public. Uh, why didn't they make it public about Jesus' bones found? Why did they make them build churches this whole entire time? So much money invested. And, uh, do you know what kind of lawsuits you guys have? Come on. If you wanna if you if you wanna create lawsuits, I'll lead you. Because remember, I'm an ex Christian. I don't care if you're you weren't I don't care if you're an atheist. Just tell them you were Christian. I would. Get a piece of the pie. Uh, uh, tell them that you've been putting money into churches for God knows why. Hey. Now, the tables turn. What, 99% of the world is rich? 1% of the world is, uh, 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 I mean, 99% is poor, and only 1% of the world is rich. So, does that, that turns the table. Now, me, personally, I think being rich is a trick. Look at all the Hollywood uh, movie uh, women and uh, men. They're complete trash. So much money, they don't even know what to do with it. it. You know, money is the root of all evil. We all heard that. The greatest trick that the devil ever played was he made the world that uh, think that he didn't exist. So start thinking about your religion. Now, now we already know any ties into Christianity Anything that says go up, it's done. I'm going to say this in all my uh, debate videos because I want to make sure that this is public. I have a, a, a video playlist. I will update them with all the videos. You know, Christianity's dead. Anything that's tied into it. So the only place that you have is Islam. Now, who is a law? A law is in your Bible. If you want me to prove it, tell me to make a video. I'll make a video. Now, this video is way too long. It's already 16 minutes and 23 seconds. So, I'm going to go ahead and cut it. If you want me to uh, prove a law being in the Bible, well... I'll make the next video. Alright, deal? Alright, deal, 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 deal. See, the very good thing about a law, you can't make it plural. It's, that fits the unique God that we need to pray to. So, thank you. Responding anti-slimist. Ah, uh, sorry. What?